Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to our redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build this toaster. So this toaster is practically a cooking machine, but it is presented in a novelty, novelty way. So what we're going to do is we're going to flick this lever up, and this will start the toaster. And then what you have to do is simply put your food in this left side here. And then that will go down into a furnace, and then we, all we have to do is start waiting over here. Now that is just left over from a test that I did before, just to make sure that it was working. So here it is, the steak is coming out now that we put in over here. And that's awesome. You can also do it on the other side as well, so if you want to have f more food cooking at the same time, put it on this side and then it will start coming out over there. And now I'm going to teach you how to build this. So what you are going to need is four redstone dust, one redstone torch, one redstone comparator, one lever, ten hoppers, six droppers, two furnaces, and 64 block of your choice. So the first thing that we are going to do is place a line of four blocks. On the end one, we're going to place three droppers facing upwards. So we're going to go one, two, three, and to do that, make sure you shift and right click or you will open the GUI. Going into the bottom dropper, we're going to place um, three hoppers like that coming to this first block here. And you want to make sure the funnels are all going in this right direction. On top of this first hopper, place one of your furnaces, then on top of it, place a hopper going into it like that. Now we are going to build this exact same thing again, but we're going to leave one space in between it. So leave a space, one, two, three, four, three droppers going upwards, shift and right click to do that. Three hoppers going into the bottom dropper like that. Furnace on the first one and then a dropper on the top of the furnace. Now in between the hoppers, what we're going to do is place some blocks and to do that shift and right click on them. And then in between these two bottom blocks, place a block there, and then we're going to put redstone on top of that block. Put a block on top of that redstone, and then we're going to place our redstone comparator going into that block there. Now come on top of this block, and what we're going to do is we're going to place a redstone torch on this face there. We're going to place a block on top of it, and then we want to place a block left, left, and right of it, and to make sure you don't open up the GUI, again, shift click. Now on top of this left and right block, place two redstone dust like that. Now with our remaining two hoppers, what we're going to do is create a simple hopper clock. So you want to place a hopper on this block in between the two furnaces there. Then with this last hopper, place it so the funnel is going into this one here. Again, shift and right click. Then we need to destroy, destroy this first one. And then we want to place it so the funnel goes into that one. So again, shift, right click. Then simply place one of your block of choice into the uh, hopper and then it should start clicking. Now what we're going to do is make a way so you can actually stop this um, ticking when you, you're not actually um, using the toaster. So what you need to do is come to this side, create two blocks like that, redstone on top, then three blocks behind that and then put the lever on the top one and flick it down like that. And as you can see, it has stopped now. Now that is it for the redstone. Now what we're going to do is move on to the decorating. So I'll come back with the material list. So for the decorating, you're going to need 54 quartz blocks, 18 pillar quartz blocks, 24 stone slabs, 28 hardened clay, and 12 ladders. Before we actually do the decorating, I suggest that you just fill your furnaces with some coal, and this will just save you some time. Now get your pillar quartz block. And what we're going to do is we're going to place four of them in front of those four blocks there. Then place one extra ones at the end. Come to this side and then we're going to go diagonal right like that. And then go two ahead. Then diagonal left. And then we're going to go five this way. So one, two, three, four, five. Then diagonal right this way. And then destroy that block there. Place your quartz block under it and then one there and it should join back up with that first one. Now on top of each pillar quartz block we're going to place three normal ones, so like that, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then just do that the whole way around.
Now for this bit here, just destroy the two wooden blocks and then we're just going to simply replace the lever. Place your two last quartz block in there and then put the lever in the middle of all these normal ones and then flick it on so it turns it off. Now get your ladders and what we're going to do is we're going to miss a column and then place three like that. Miss a column and then three like that, do it on the other side. Then go to the top and what we're going to do is we're going to place stone slab around the edge. And then we're going to place a line of it in the middle. Now get the hardened clay and what we're going to do is cover up all the holes. So one there, two in the middle and then one at the end. One there, two in the middle, one at the end. Now create a line of hardened clay on top of them. And then we're going to put four in the middle, so leave one at the end, and then one, two, three, four, and then should be one space at the this side as well. So leave one, one, two, three, four, and there should be a space at that side too. Start running bam now, me. So there we go guys, that is the toaster. Now as we always do, we're going to test it out. So we've got some um, some lovely uh, pork chop here. So first of all, you need to make it so it's clicking. So flick the lever so it's up. Head up to the top here. And then you want to place it in the hoppers on the left side here. And pop that in there. Now we'll let that go and it should start to come up. We'll wait for it here. There we go guys, our, f our, first, our first pork chop, awesome. So this will just keep going until it does all of them and then once it's done you can simply just flick off the lever and it will get rid of that um, ticking sound for you. Now you can also do it on the other side so if you want to do double the cooking just put some more on this side and it will do exactly the same as it's doing here. We can pick up our pork and the cool thing about it is it collects here as well so it won't go anywhere else. And yeah that's, that's practically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, remember to leave a like. If you have any ideas for tutorials, let me know in the comments. Um, this one today was um, kind of requested. I actually built this and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it. Uh, but I asked in a live stream um, if you guys wanted me to do a tutorial and a lot of people said yes. So this is why I'm doing this tutorial today. So remember to leave a like and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.